everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As promised, I am going to make my 2022 vision board and I'm excited as per my last video, I was able to achieve everything if not most of everything on my vision board. So I'm pretty excited to get started on my 2022 vision board to sort of reach new goals and get the ball rolling on the new year. I did write down all the things I wanted for my pillars in this vision board because I've mentioned before that I had about four pillars in my 2021 vision board. So I'm hoping to kind of go the same route and hopefully come up with the same results. So yeah. If you guys hadn't seen the last video of me going over how I achieved everything in my 2021 vision board, I'll link that down below and I'll also have it in the corner here of the screen. But let's just get straight into this manifestation vision board making. So I'm going to be using the program Photoshop. I just have background in being able to use Photoshop. You can use free websites such as Canva to sort of like piece together any photos or whatever. You can even use paint if you really want to. to start putting together your vision board but any sort of photo editing program would do um, I'm only using Photoshop because I'm comfortable using Photoshop I'm not gonna do anything crazy it really is just super basic so you don't need to use or know any extreme Photoshop skills to be able to make your own vision board it's just a program that I prefer by the way happy new year to everybody I know I haven't said that yet happy new year um, I hope your new years are all going well um, here where we are, the gyms are closed, so I can't exactly get on top of one of my pillars just yet, uh, but we are going to try to make it happen. So one of my first pillars is going to be about fitness, which is a lot of what had to do with last year's um, vision board. So I'm going to pull up some of my fitness inspos. I am going to use Natasha as my fitness inspo. She's basically one of the reasons why I got into fitness, wanted to do it right, and she has helped me, you know, accept fitness as something that I really want to do, not just something that society is telling me to do. It's because I want to be healthy, I want to be athletic, and yeah, so we are going to save this image, this beautiful image of Natasha. Google shall let me. So we will go ahead and put her there. Let's resize her. So maybe let's put it right over here. I'm gonna give it a nice bright blue. Oh, before I get this whole thing started and jump the gun like I always do, um, we're gonna label it. Marrows 2022 Vision Board. I know you can't see it right now. I will fix that. I am going to make it a nice color and we are going to give it a bit of an outline. All right, and let's not block her face, shall we? All right, so another influencer I really like, she is fitness goal. I like Ashley Flores because she uses the gym as an escape. It helps with her mental health and I agree with that a lot. Mental health is a huge thing for me here in this channel. I don't know if you've seen her. Yup, yup, that's it. She looks great. And if any of you are watching, Natasha or Ashley, um, I'm sorry if it's creepy, but you guys are my inspiration and I am putting you on my vision board. So yeah, Ooh, I kind of like that black stroke. That's a little edgy. Okay, so. We have my fitness, and we're just gonna label that category here as one of my pillars. Fitness, I don't know why it ends up being gigantic words all the time. Ooh, ooh, look at this board right now. Okay, oh yes, look at that. My vision board is forming. We are manifesting it in the cauldron here. Okay, so we have Natasha, we have Ashley. The next pillar is my money the bag. And we're also just going to have a photo of money bags, because why not? Flying money emoji, that's what I was looking for. When you're making your vision board, you can make it really specific with like numbers that you want to reach, or you can make it broad, kind of like what I'm doing with the money here. Money abundant, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, I really want to perhaps make a trip to Disney World this year, 50th anniversary of Disney World, and I really want to make it before it ends, 
and it ends this year around the 1st of October. So I am going to put it as one of my financial goals because it's gonna cost a hell of a lot of money to have a good time in Disney World. All right, so another pillar is loving myself. So I'm going to put a photo of myself. And along with putting a photo of myself, I'm going to also put my relationship on there because loving myself leads to a healthier relationship with my boyfriend too. It's an odd thing to put a photo of yourself in a vision board, but you know, it's, it's about you. This one is one of my favorite photos that we um, have. Uh, it's actually a screenshot from a failed video we tried to do. The toxic relationships video, we actually went outside and filmed it uh, along False Creek. But uh, my video did not have the audio working. So fun fact, um, we filmed everything and it wasn't even posted because there was no volume. Glad he still stuck it out with me because I wasted his time for sure. Now the last pillar I need is my YouTube channel. And, <laughs> and if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. And if you have lasted this long, because I don't know where this video is going, but I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> We're going to put it onto the vision board, like so. But we are also going to edit numbers. So what I really want to try to do in 2022 is get a thousand subscribers. That would be amazing. And once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to be monetized, which will be so awesome. So I'm just going to white out the subscriber count that I have now and just go over it with text here. 1,000 subscribers. All right. I I think we have my vision board. So top left corner, we have my fitness goals. Top right corner, we have my money abundant goals. Um, and then we have my loving relationship goals. And then we have my YouTube subscriber goals. I'm really happy with this vision board. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to save it. And we are going to set it as my background because that's what I did the whole year of 2021 and that's how I was able to achieve everything I wanted on my vision board. Set as desktop background. All right, and we are going to take a look. Oh, yay. I'm really happy with how my vision board turned out. It's that easy, just literally copy and pasting a bunch of photos you want to achieve in your 2022 vision board that's exactly what I did last year and I hope this year turns out just the same but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I know that was a lot um, but thanks for joining me on seeing what my goals are and hopefully this helps inspire you to to go ahead and make that vision board for yourself as well so thank you for watching I really really appreciate it and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video and with that, I'm going to wish you all a good day. Bye.